Hi all and welcome back. So in today's tutorial we will be looking on how we can uh, find out what all plugins are installed on our instance. Okay, so we will look into the various method and then we will be looking into the scripting method and why we need to look into the scripting method also I will explain. So for the people who don't know plugin, plugin is an uh, you can say an application which enhance which provides some kind of functionality to the system additional functionality to the, to the service now instance okay so how to get the plugin so first of all let's go with the straightforward method it's like in the application filter navigator you go for system definition i made it wrong system definition a system definition you can have plugin so where is that plugin 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 or I will likely simply type plugin only, okay? So you can see in the system definition we have plugins, okay? If we click on plugins and over here there will be a checkbox called install. If we let let it load, okay? We'll wait. It always take time. Yeah, but it's taking a long, longer time now. Let's wait. Cancel this out. Okay. And here you can see this is a interface for plugins. And here you can see install checkbox. If I click on install, so there are 699 plugins we've got installed. And you can see all the install plugin from here. This is the first method. The second method quite easier method is through the URL so what you have to do I will duplicate this tab out okay just to explain you okay so what you can do you can go to the base URL which will be the instance name dot service now dot do okay and then you have to type XML stats dot do okay and click enter and now what it will do it will render the information of all the plugins which I installed on the application so this is a second method through which you can you can get the information of what our plugins are installed yeah, people think we, we, we get plugins installed only when we install it manually but there are few plugins which are out of the box also installed so it's pretty good to get some insights key what our plugins are installed over there okay so here it got stat dot do and now you can see all the plugins list okay yeah it's going it will, it will format it out and now if we go over here event logs event so these are all the plugins you can see over here what all plugins are installed okay this is the second method now what is wrong with this two method okay if suppose you have a requirement okay or if I had a requirement in the past that right? uh, I want to send a mail with all the installed plugins, okay, to my manager, okay, so that he can look into that key water plugins are installed on the system. So we can't use this two approaches, okay, just to draft a mail. That's where the scripting approach comes into the picture. So we will go to the fixed script. I will not waste much time. So we'll go to the fixed script and how we can sort jot it down. I will show you. So the script is pretty easy. I will give it like find installed plugins. Okay. And let's write a script. So I will create a self callable function. I will give function. And inside the function, we'll write our own logic. So first of all, I want to create an array for all the plugins. So I will give value plugins equal to I will define an empty array and not, then after we will be pushing the things to that array okay let's make it complete okay and then we'll go with like variable mm, the result equal to I'm just defining a message okay so we'll like list of all plugins installed on how to get the instance name if we want to show right on which particular instance it got installed right so we'll use js dot get property okay and in property we'll give 
instance underscore name so it will provide the instance name okay and then I can go I can give it plus and I want to break the line so I will do slash n okay slash n is like he's starting in the new line okay now I want to make it pretty better good right so that's what I'm doing so we can go variable Play manager okay this is also one class okay in service now if you are not aware of equal to new glide glide plug in manager okay and we have defined the function now we can do variable gr plugin equal to new glide record and in glide record we'll give the plugin for plugin table which is like sys underscore new gin plugin plugins is plugin not plugin okay ruler then we will do gr plugin dot add encoded query and encoded query we can give as active equal to zero or yeah zero or one let's let's give for all the plugins so or active equal to one okay one where it, where it went so we have given active query also I think something got missed okay okay now after this we will do gr plugin dot query okay and now while gr plugin dot next okay we'll, uh, we are simply trading through the plugin list okay what we will be doing we will create a json object so i will do it variable plugin object equal to empty json and in that empty json will be like plugin object dot name what all we want to push right i will do gr plugin dot get value of name we also want to see source okay so i will do the same i will copy it out i'll do plugin id dot pid okay and let's take the source in that then afterward what is like we will give a encoded and um, active query so we will like plugin object dot is active okay is active equal to we just want to same as i'm just trying to differentiate out active or inactive right so it's like plugin manager here plugin manager comes into existence so i will give plugin manager dot is active this checks when we pass the plugin id it checks whether that particular plugin is active or inactive so plugin object dot pid then what else mm, we'll give if plugin object dot dot is active if it's active then only we want we want only active plugins list right so we can do plugins oh i forgot to that's what i was thinking why it's not giving over here so plugins dot push 
we'll do plugin object else we just want it for active query right now we got an array okay fine now what we want to do with this array so we will sort the plugin with the name okay so let's make it pretty good only right so i will do plugins equal to plugins dot sort and we will give function we will i'm just giving uh, sorting function over here okay nothing to worry a comma b okay and to 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 a comma b and here we can give if mhm if a dot the a dot name a dot name is greater than b b dot name then what we will do okay if it's greater then we will return 1 so we will 1 okay if if a dot name is less than b dot name i'm just i'm i think i'm just adding additional code i don't know why return minus 1 okay and now we have to just iterate through it okay so this is done this is done over here and now we can iterate through it so for we will give variable i equal to 0 to equal to 0 to i less than plugins dot length i plus plus we we'll give result which is stored at the top right if you remember result plugins of i dot name so i am giving name plus the plugin id right so that's our intention plus dt plugins object right so oh, it's plugins of i dot p id okay and we will do plus slash n okay this is done and then we will simply do js dot print js dot print i am not sure whether it works in fix script or not let's see so this is how we can write a script okay and you will get a list of plugins you can format it the way you want in the script and you can send the email so let's try to get get it working I will just do the run fix script, and I will do proceed. It didn't give. Let's give info. Let's 
Open this X script. That's it. It. and now you can see all the plugin list over here you can use it the way you want you can either email it you can give you can use it in the script whatever you want so this is how you can get the list of plugins installed on your service now instance okay hope you like this video okay please like follow share and subscribe to my channel and please drop a comments on which particular topic you want to see that tutorials in the future. Till then, stay happy, stay safe and have a nice day. Thank you.